Hola friends and family. Well, here we are in Iempe and as requested, we're going to give a tour of where we're staying at right now. First, I'll show you kind of what it looks like outside of where we're at. This may end up being somewhat of a long video, so... Okay, and without further ado, here is the beautiful Jessica. Good morning. Hey, don't uh, don't kill me for butchering any Spanish on this video. <laughs> Contrary to what Josh says, I don't think I already know Spanish. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, we are staying at Calamo Uno Basco Residential. Um, so there are multiple homes within the little community. I, I guess you could technically call it gated. It's not really gated, but there's a gate. <laughs> so come on in. You'll notice that there is a lot of bamboo used here in Ecuador and their lumber of choice, which I absolutely love, is teak. Lots and lots of teak. And lots of cement and concrete. Yeah. Which is kind of a cool contrast with all the wood and the concrete. Loving it. Cool thing about the concrete is it's also, uh, uh, it helps with the mildew and mold because of the humid climate so that that's certainly a, a benefit and one of the reasons why they do it the uh having things built out of wood obviously you're going to be more prone to um, mildew and mold rotting etc yeah we're sitting at about 80 percent humidity <clears throat> um which actually it's like totally comfortable <laughs> it doesn't feel like 80 percent at yeah. all like we were in florida what three days ago sitting at 70 percent and about 90 degrees and it was awful and yeah. this is we're totally comfortable this morning so yeah it's big difference huge huge so multiple houses here we've got the first couple and really really pretty Laura, you want to show that one that we were just looking at? Yeah, we haven't looked up the name yet. They've got really pretty flora here. So these houses over here are built with like a, a green covering. So a lot of native plants have been built in. So we're here at the Casa Azul. So we've got this beautiful vine plant. We haven't looked up its name yet either, but it's basically covering a good portion of the house. Um, so super cool. Love that. Yeah. And it's really neat also because this um, this covering it has like these little pockets in here so that you can grow plants. And the entire look at this, it's basically you can cover your entire uh, side of your house with it. And all houses here are above ground. They're off the ground like that. And 99% of the houses that we've seen are two-story. And most small, are... Small footprints, but yep. yeah, usually two-story. There's no such thing as handrails no. in this country. <laughs> it, <laughs> Definitely it is, not the same safety yeah, standard. It is not wheelchair friendly, but that's okay for now. Come on in. Yay. So this one's pretty much open air. It is two story, two bedroom, two bath. Um, cute little open kitchen, very similar style to what we've seen um, most places we've searched online. Uh, they don't do a lot of upper cupboards. That seems to be pretty uh, traditional. Also, this one has an oven that's not typical. Usually you'll see <clears throat> countertop, either toaster ovens. Um, our uh, dishwashers are usually not a thing, which for us is no big deal. We don't have one right now in the States. Um, See decorative bamboo on the interior of the walls. And then like I was saying before, teak. Everything's teak, everything's handmade. There's no store-bought furniture hardly at all in this country. Yes, yeah, so this one's pretty sparse. I think it's pretty new. You can still smell the varnish in here, so. This, I think this whole kind of complex is usually is pretty new. Um, but super cute and comfortable otherwise. Like I said, uh, base is all concrete. I went with the finishes on the bamboo, roof on the bamboo. Yeah. We'll go to the main floor bathroom and bedroom first. So in here, just the main, I guess you would say master bedroom, I don't know. Um, a little worried about the bed at first. Uh, it's not like squishy, but it's actually was pretty comfortable. It was. Yeah. Very comfortable. 
It's a pretty basic, you'll see like all kind of, like I said, everything's like concrete, cement, but I love all like the buildings are really cool. Yeah. Like I, I think they're pretty neat. The, the house feels hardcore sturdy mm -hmm. because everything's cement. And then something to uh, think about also in Ecuador, um, a lot of places don't have water heaters. Yeah. You know. Especially um, on the coast. In the mountains, uh, more common, but on the coast, uh, not as common. This one does have a small water heater, thank goodness. Yeah. Uh, probably for uh, international <laughs> <Gringos>. travelers. <laughs> for us gringos. <laughs> um, coolest feature in the bathroom, they made this little bidet. Yeah. Check this little guy out. Because <laughs> so just like a lot of Latin American countries, you don't flush. So they got this little uh, makeshift bidet. <laughs> yeah. Little yeah. rinsey rinsey and you're Throw. good to go. <laughs> tilt that bad boy upside down and you're... Uh, you're uh, <laughs> Fun parts are cleaned yeah. up. <laughs> All right, exterior little vanity with sink. And then, and then of course, uh, concrete floors. Be perfect just to grab a pressure washer and wash your floors in here. Yeah. And look at it, more teak. And then the stairs, bamboo stairs. Yeah, they're really cool. Lots of, you'll see the big, big windows everywhere. Super open. Yeah, they all, so last night we didn't have to use the AC at all. The The temperature out right now is is perfect. It is the, the perfect temp. And they have a, a loft bed up here that is definitely not up to U.S. safety standards. <laughs> Small children would not be allowed up here. Yeah. That's a... That, that's quite a drop, as you can see. So our <laughs> grandson's not cool. invited up here. But it does look cool, yeah. I don't know, we might have to give this bed a try too, because it's kind of cool up here. Yeah. Um, big open air, like I said, this one's really sparsely furnished. Uh, just to make sure because it's an Airbnb. But this would actually be a really cool master suite, I think. I think so too. Um, to actually, you know, furnish it with a nice sitting area. <clears throat> Similar type of bathroom. Uh, this one does not have a tub. So it's got the external little vanity sink. Then this one has a fully tiled shower. So in Ecuador, it's very, very common to not have a tub. These walk-in showers seem to be, well, walk-in showers and outdoor showers yeah. seem to be the norm. So, and this one has, has the, uh, um, uh, what? What are they? Oh, the sink, the sink style uh, bidet, which is awesome. You know, yeah. rinsing dishes <laughs> off. It's freaking cool. So anyway. So then this has a very small little balcony. And if you come out and duck down under the vines, and it's like I said, I absolutely love it. I think it's so cool that it covers the house. You can just barely see out here mm. yeah you're in the right there. direction yeah. um you can actually see the ocean out there cool. and there's a rock formation out there that um there's two rocks one of them actually looks like there's an iguana sitting on top of it we'll do another video later when we go back out to the beach we're gonna go um, spend some time on the beach today and check out the waves here in Iangue. Yep. And what's we're uh, no angry. we're we're I in am big. yeah. <laughs> but what what's cool is that we're we're far enough away from the beach where the waves don't keep us awake, um, and also it's about a, a, a mile walk or so. Yeah, maybe that's a very easy. Less. Yeah, it might be less. It's yeah. a pretty easy walk. And something that's really neat is that you see these flowers right here. The petals they sit there, and they fall off onto the ground so every time you're walking along you got these beautiful purple petals yeah. falling off and so. anyway uh, we hope you enjoyed the video and Jennifer I hope that was kind of what you're looking for so we appreciate you guys walking or walking <laughs> watching. watching we appreciate you watching and uh, stay tuned yeah. more more info coming up